Okay, for question number 4, we are going to subtract fractions. Here we have 3 over 10 minus 5 over 6. What do we need first? You need to tell me we need to make sure that they have the same denominator. Unfortunately, we have 3 over 10 minus 5 over 6. The numbers on the bottom are different, so we cannot do anything at the moment. So this is what we need to do. We need to figure out what's the lowest common multiple of the denominator namely the LCD. We are just focusing on the 10 and the 6. We have to ask ourselves, what number can I put down so that 10 goes into that number and 6 also goes into that number? The answer for that is 30. And just for practice purpose, you know, these videos are just trying to uh, review all the things that you have seen in the past. So I wanted to show you guys all the steps, okay? How can I get the 30? This is what we do. Look at the bottom number, the denominator of the first fraction, which is the 10. I'm just going to put it down, and then I'm going to write down a couple of its multiple. I start with 10, that's 10 times 1. The next one will be 10 times 2, so that will be 20. The next one will be 10 times 3, that's 30. And the next one will be 10 times 4, so it's 40. And then 50, and then so on. Just write down a few of them. And then we are going to do the same for the number 6. We write down... 6 right here. We don't worry about the number on the top at the moment, just the denominators. So we write down the 6 right here. That's 6 times 1. The next one will be 6 times 2. That's why it means by multiple, we just multiply. So 6, 12, that's 6 times 2, right? And then the third one will be 6 times 3. So 6 times 3, that will be 18. And then the next one will be 6 times 4, that's 24. And then 6 times 5, that's 30. And then so on. We're just going to write down a few of these multiples and then the moment that we see anything that's in common, we can stop. As we can see, we have the 30 that's actually in common. That's how we get the lowest common multiple of the denominator to be 30. All right, let's come back to the fractions. This is what we need to do. We need to change both fractions into something over 30 and something over 30. And then we can subtract the top number. The numerator and this is what we do to make the necessary change let's focus on the first fraction we see that we have 10 on the bottom originally but now i need a 30. we have to ask ourselves 10 times what will give us 30. the answer to that would be 3. so we multiply 10 by 3. that's how we can get a 30. and then we do the same on the top so we take this 3 times this 3. Whatever you do on the bottom, you do the same on the top. That's how we change the fractions, okay? So, 3 times 3, that's 9. And we just change 3 over 10 into 9 over 30. For the second fraction, we focus on the bottom. 6. 6 times what will be 30? Well, 6 times 5 will be 30. And then we do the same on the top. We multiply by 5. And then we worked out 5 times 5. That will be 25. Okay, so this is how we make the necessary change. And then you see that now these two fractions, they have the same denominators. And what we need to do now is that we know when we subtract fractions, the denominator will stay the same. So 30 and 30, the denominator will stay 30. But then we just work out the top. Here we have 9, and then we are going to subtract 25. 9 minus 25 is equal to negative 16. So that's pretty much the result. But then, we always need to check to see if we can reduce the fraction or not. And as you can see, this is not any of the other choices. So that means we have to do more work. To reduce fractions, we have 16 over 30. We have to ask ourselves, what number goes into 16 and that same number goes into 30? We can use 2 because both of them are even numbers. And we can do this like the following. We can take 16 and then we just need to divide it by 2. That's how we reduce fraction. And then we do the same on the bottom. And as we can see, 16 divided by 2 is 8. But that was a negative. So we stay negative 8. And then on the denominator, 30 divided by 2. That's 15. Remember, you always do the same on the top and bottom. Always either multiply or divide. When you multiply, it's usually you want to get the same denominator. 
when you divide is usually when you want to reduce fraction. Anyways, the result of this is negative 8 over 15, and that's answer choice E. That's it.